Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create a simple org chart just like this. And we don't really need to start inserting the boxes here. We can actually start by creating a bullet point list and have our smart art actually created from our bullet point list. So let's go ahead and check that out and see how we can do that. So let me go into a new slide and let's say for example I'm going to start creating a bullet point list and uh, as we go down the hierarchy, I'm going to indent it. So let's say we start out with the CEO, and working for the CEO is a CFO and maybe a COO. And so you see how these are indented? I press the tab key to indent that. So maybe after I press return, let me hit, let me uh, press the tab key to indent it some more. And under the CEO, we have a director working for the COO. Uh, maybe we have two directors. Oops. Let me get them on the same level. We have two directors working for the uh, COO, and under the director we have uh, a manager working for the COO. I mean, excuse me, working for the director, and under the manager we have a worker bee. Uh, how come we'll call this person worker bee? Now, with this indented list of bullet points, all we need to do is go under the home tab, and under the home tab in the paragraph group, click on convert to smart art and there are some options here and what we want to do is we want to select the organizational chart option and we see once we selected that that has actually created a hierarchy for us now now if we want to add to this let's say for example the CEO usually has some executive admin so we can go ahead and press click on that CEO and so we go into add shape and we're going to add a shape below it's going to add another line here. The executive admin is going to be in the same level as the CEO. That's not what we want. Let me go ahead and con press Control Z to undo that. What we want to do is actually add an assistant. And so actually there is an add an assistant option here. So once we add an assistant, it actually puts the assistant in between the direct reports of the CEO. So I can just type admin here. Oops and we have an admin there. And if we wanted to add some other uh, direct reports under any of these other roles, we can go under here and add them accordingly. So you can just play around with that and see how you like it. So those are the other options that you can play around in here. If we want, if this text pane actually will bring back that bulleted list, but off to the side here, you can see how when we typed that bulleted list initially first, uh, this is how it kind of looked. Uh, this kind of gives you a shorter view of that within the smart art view. And there's other layouts. If you didn't like this layout, there's other layouts that are part of the hierarchy group. And uh, you can click on here. If you hover over it, it, PowerPoint dynamically shows it to you. So and once you select that, it will actually select it. But let me go ahead and select what we had before. And you can also change the colors. If you don't like the default colors it comes in, you can change the colors here. And there's a lot of other cool things you can do. You can have other effects. You have this intense effect. Or if you click on that drop down, there's other effects here. There's a 3D effect that you can add to it and give it some color. If you didn't like this, you wanted to reset the graphic, you can reset it to whatever defaulted it to. And see, now it defaulted back to the blue. Or if you didn't want this, this hierarchy, the smart art, you can convert it back to text and it's going to convert it back to the bullet to text that we had earlier. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.